cannot be that you are honest when you're fielding and not so honest when you're batting. That is nonsense, utter nonsense. Here is a man who did not walk when he was 14, got down the leg side. So why should his word be taken? India vs Australia Test Series in 2008 is one of the most controversial series in cricket history. There was an incident when Ricky Ponting decided to stay at the crease when umpire gave a wrong not out after Ponting clearly edged the bowl. In a similar fashion, Michael Clark stood innocently at the crease, waiting for the umpire even after he edged the bowl to the slip. This is the same man Michael Clark who stood his ground when he was caught by Rahul Dravid yesterday. And the Indians had to really appeal very strongly before he was given out. The same fielder as a batsman can stay his ground when he knows he's nicked the ball. See when he rolls over and see, there is grounded the ball on the turf. So that is not out because he's in the act of taking the catch. Now this is where he's asking the captain, did he catch it? And then he says, yes. Well, why don't you ask the batsman then? Why is it that a fielder's word has to be believed and not the batsman? Absolutely no doubt about this match being played in the right spirit, yeah. You know, I've, I've played my cricket uh, very sincerely and very honestly. And that's, that's the approach uh, my team takes on the field. And I expect that from the Australians as well.